One of the people Ted Budd ran against for his seat in the Senate was former North Carolina Governor Pat McCrory. I spoke to Governor McCrory earlier today about the movement he is now a part of and what it has to do with giving voters a different option for president in 2024. We believe every voice counts. And for too long, too many voices have been drowned out, and we're going to change it. We are living in a time in American politics that many people are voting against a candidate rather than for a candidate. By most polling, almost two-thirds of voters are not satisfied with their own party's choice of who's likely to be at the top of the presidential ticket. And uh, right now, the political... Uh leadership in both political parties want to keep the status quo and they almost are rather arrogant about assuming the american people will accept either choice that they have to concur with either choice and that answer is no the organization no labels wants to change that we have folks on the left we have folks on the right and we have folks in the center that want their leaders to work together to solve problems you know labels is america's best chance for political sanity its effectiveness was proven wednesday night no labels helped start the problem solvers caucus members include north carolina's don davis and wiley nickel both democrats and republican chuck edwards all freshmen Congressman. The Problem Solvers Caucus is focused on dialogue rather than division and helped gain bipartisan support for the debt ceiling bill. Former North Carolina Governor Pat McCrory has joined the No Labels movement. I'm, I'm working with a group of people that really care for this nation. He still considers himself a conservative Republican and readily admits his own past struggles with Democrats and his own party. I know the game. I've played the game. I've been played by the game. And the game is right now the the political parties want to have total control and power, and they want to keep the status quo. I know that game. Governor Cooper has played that game. Members of the Republican legislature have played that game. And I think the American people and the people of North Carolina are saying, wait a minute, uh, we want more options. And that includes potentially another option for president, not another political party, but an individual. And uh, what we're saying is if that the public concern continues after Super Tuesday that we'll offer a third alternative. As a Republican and as a conservative, I believe in choice. I believe in competition. More people continue to jump into the race for president, leaving a list of questions. Just who ends up on top, whether No Labels finds itself offering an alternative, and who voters ultimately get behind. And Liz, uh, one other thing they see as an indicator in all of this is that, you know, in North Carolina, we've reported many times that the unaffiliated voter the biggest uh, voting bloc in North Carolina right. uh, has no allegiance to either party. Mm -hmm. Now, if this were to move forward, they'd have to get on the ballot in every single state in the United States, a massive effort. They'd have to follow individual states' uh, election laws in order to do so. We'll see how it plays out. Yeah. All right, Russ, thanks.